Nando's or Wagamamba? Nando's. Ooh, though. Well, they're both good. You would say Nando's. Let's be But real. sometimes you just want that ebikatsu, though. Oh, that ebikatsu. Oh. And I have plantain. Oh, where's it? <laughs> plantain. Oh, look at my plantain. So, yeah, I'm just going to eat that now. Resend your questions from last time because I couldn't do it. If you follow me on Snapchat, you know that my camera broke mid filming, so I'm doing this video again. What do you do as your career? I have a degree, obviously, which is psychology, but this, the YouTube thing, is pretty much what I do now, so I wouldn't call it career because not like it's a 9 to 5 type thing. Why do I keep looking at you like. But career doesn't have to be 9 to 5. It's what you're True, doing so what I'm doing, okay, okay. So what I'm doing right now is I film and make YouTube videos. And sometimes on the side, I do do bookings, but not as much as I used to do. Where in Nigeria are you from? Do you speak any of our dialect? I am Ibo. Mm -hmm. What do you think was the best and worst decision you ever made? Hmm. Best decision was probably not doing a night to five because. I would not survive. I was going to go into psychology and possibly do a master's in clinical psychology, but I felt like if I did do it, I wouldn't, I would literally just be like depressed. So I think, oh, although this wasn't planned, the whole YouTube thing wasn't planned, I'm, I'm glad that I went down that road. Worst decision ever made. I think in life, like when things happen, they, they do happen for a reason, even though people say they regret things. I feel like you learn from your mistakes. Probably more like just relationship choices. Okay. That's probably the only thing I could say that I don't make the best decisions on, yeah. with, you know. I always think with my heart and never like, like I know what I'm supposed to do and know when someone's right for me or not right for me, but I just feel like, oh, you know, I can never try and ignore it and then I just, your heart takes over and you know, then you end up being hurt. So I feel like maybe that's probably the only thing in my life, I feel like I don't make the best decision or best choices. What's been your favorite part of Lagos so far? I guess that never ending Nigerian food, because obviously I do get Nigerian food in London, but like this is like authentic from the pots, from the stove. Weather? It's too much. <laughs> I haven't actually been outside, look at me, like my arms don't match my face anymore. Yeah, so um. I mean the weather's been good definitely, I mean like who wants to be in like 5 degree weather like all the time so the weather's been really nice, I mean it's it's not it's not overly hot, like an like like all year round like summer holiday. How did you make YouTube successful, what's your story? I actually have a video on this, I know I, I do get this question a lot, I have a video on this so maybe I should just link the video in the description box because it makes it easier, it's like I do actually say this, say this question a lot. How many years did you spend in Nigeria? I'm guessing before I moved to the UK. Uh, 10 years, I moved when I was 10, so 10, I guess. Freshy! <coughs> Excuse me. At least I have the accent on point. Okay. <laughs> no fitness. See, they we don't know where you're from. I mean, where are you from? I don't know where you're from. from. <laughs> I know. If you were like, say, say, say you were like, I don't know, God forbid, kidnapped somewhere, and you're trying to figure out where, you, where, to, where to take you back to. If Michael, before know. Michael's parents asked me, I have no idea. I'll just say I'm from Nigeria, and that's it. <laughs> I was from Lagos, and that's it. Where? It's like, where? where? <laughs> Is Nigeria scary? No. no. It's not scary. It's just um, people try to make it scary. You just have to be prepared for a lot of things they might not be used to. The only thing for me, I really not, it still annoys me, is the whole having to ask money for everything like, everywhere. Oh my god. Like, when I got to the airport, it was literally like, yeah, money this, money this, money that, or bless us for the weekend, bless me this, bless me that. Like every time, like I'm in the car, like everywhere to park, to do this, they, they literally follow you to your car, just so you, they can help you put it in your car and ask for money. And but no, it's not scary. I mean, there are areas that might look a bit. You might not, you might not want to walk like walk places. You have to be in a car or you know. But, but no, it's fine. Like if you're with people, you're with friends, you're in a car. Like it, it's it's all good. So I think sometimes they portray Nigeria to be some like, but um, so far anyway, it's been fine. I haven't experienced Nigeria. I haven't really experienced it on my I've own. I've been to the market, I've been to the bank. I only go to the market. You're the most, what's your car? I've been to the 
to the market. How tall are you? I am 5'8", I think. What happened to Daniel? Who's Daniel? <laughs> you have to keep that in. <laughs> Nothing happened to Daniel. We were always just friends, people. It's good. I spoke to him last night, actually. He's asking me how night was. Do you have any insecurities that really get you down, even though I can't see why you would? I think we all do. I think every... I feel like it's when people say... When people pick on, like, especially YouTubers and bloggers, like this and this, like, everybody has an insecurity. Like, it's normal. You're a human being. There, there are things about ourselves that we might not particularly, like, love or... I think it's like, for me, meeting new people, I'm always like... Cause I, you know that I'm kind of, like, shy-ish. I mean, it's going better all the time, but like me and you people was always a bit like nerve-wracking for me like how they take to me and I don't really relate to a lot of people unless we have similar interests just how people would take to me when they first meet but after a while like it's fine it's all cool what's your physical insecurity? probably still my skin it's still gonna be that for now everything else I can always change like my nose I can change would you? not like no, not not surgery like makeup oh, okay. like oh. I mean it's not I would never go that far to like go on the knife what hotel are you staying at in Lagos? What's the best hotel you stayed? Do you think you've had worldwide? I haven't really travelled many places, so I can't give a, a worldwide response. But this is a good hotel. It's called Avenue Suites. It's in Victoria Island, which is like a nice area. I stayed in quite a few in London. Like the Grange is pretty good. In terms of worldwide, I haven't really travelled many places. When did you first get into doing makeup? Properly, probably when I started YouTube, but then I, I was wearing makeup before YouTube, so when I went into uni, I was like 19, and I was doing the whole like milkshake lips, I'm just eating a donut lips type thing, and <laughs> it was so bad. Like I look at pictures now, and it's like, why? Where was your friend to tell you what you're doing? <laughs> I had no friend to tell me what I was doing <laughs> wrong. That's not a good friend. If you have a friend who who looks like that, you say nothing, you're not a good friend. Like, just forget it. So I was kind of wearing like lipstick and like mascara. I'm not sure about, yeah, I think a little bit of foundation, but not like the, you know, the full face type thing. I think when I first discovered MAC was like when I was, I was like in my mum's room and I saw like a, a Studio Fix compact type thing. I think I was like 16. I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. And I put a little bit on my face because like, I absolutely love this. And I went to MAC and I watched my first YouTube video and I literally bought everything in that video and it obviously didn't look the same but I was like I have to look like cool you know like all the cool people like always wear make always wore makeup and I was never one of the cool people sadly yeah if you only had one makeup lipstick eyeshadow foundation that could that you could wear for a day what would it be and if you could travel around travel right now where would you like to go next over to Nigeria or maybe eyebrow eyebrow pencil because even if I don't have makeup on if I go out I always have my eyebrows done a little bit just look like human. Where will I travel to next? I want to go to Dubai. Hopefully Come, let's go. soon. So yeah. I've got a hook up there. I have a cousin there. Do you? They want me to stay in a hotel in Dubai. And see it was the Atlantis. I don't know which hotel it is. What is the one misconception people have about you? Can I answer? Literally it's like a whole list of stuff you would answer. Go yeah. on then. Um what's what's the question again? What's the, the one mis misconception people have about you? She's still, she thinks she's too nice, she doesn't talk to anyone, um, she's up herself. <laughs> she's fake, everything's she's fake. fake. Everything's fake, she's not a real person, <laughs> she's an airhead. <laughs> Where are you hearing these things from? Everywhere. Where? Everywhere. Your friends? No, not my friends. Yeah, so that's pretty much what it is. People just assume like, because you, I don't know, look or are a certain way, that you're a certain way. But they, they, confuse being quiet as being stuck up or oh, I won't talk to you because I think I'm too nice like it's not like that a lot of people don't have that out there personality that other people do and people just assume that I'd, I don't want to talk to you or whatever but like that's just me like oh if I don't have anything to say at the time I'll just keep quiet like it's nothing, it's not, nothing personal it's just how I am and after a while I will actually warm up to you so that's probably that you're what actually one of I'd say you're one of the coolest people that I know. I think. Ah. Oh. Yeah, because I think with you, I have the most fun with you. You're crazy, even though people don't think it. You're actually mental. You crack me up. Yeah, people don't see that side. Yeah, they don't. And that's you know what? As a YouTuber and also as someone that watches you, I think that's something 
that annoys me because I'm like, oh my god, if everyone saw the jelly that I see, <laughs> oh my god, like everyone would actually love you. Not that they don't, but do you get what I mean? Oh, I think. But it's true because I think you're crazy, you're spontaneous, you, you're kind of like me, like an up and go, I want to do this now, let's do this kind of thing, as opposed to, yeah. oh wait, I have to do this. And <laughs> come with her stories. Jenny doesn't have stories, you know. Jenny will tell you, like, no, that don't look good. No, let's do this. Oh, I'll see you later if you're not on it. Bye. <laughs> and I like that. Yeah, so that's it. I'm actually a really cool person. I'm not just saying that. She I just really. I just have, I have she, my moments. She's got so. a card of things that I should say about her. What do you mean a card <laughs> of things? All positive, I'm obviously. I'm joking. Of course I'm joking. I want to know about the guy that you did the boyfriend tag with. You know him though. Oh, the French guy. That's like how many 50, 50 years ago? Wait, the thing is, you have to ask. This is what we, we were. Me we were YouTube seeing people. each other at the time. We hung out a lot, and that's what it was. And it went out for like almost a year, and then. I decided that it wasn't going to work because he wasn't a Christian and he was going to move away for work. So if you open the book, I, I, I mean, mean you have to be able to close it, and a lot of YouTubers don't close you it. You do close, yeah. I mean, so you have to say what happens. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, we it didn't carry on, and then we moved on. Yeah. What usually what happens? I didn't feel I needed to address anything. Like, but you you showed him, <laughs> so you do have to just. That is what pisses me off. <laughs> Church wedding or outdoor wedding? Outdoors because it's different and it's, you can, yeah, it's different. The church weddings are always kind of the same, kind of the same structure, and same kind of building. And outdoors make it just looks more like it's more interesting. And like I definitely want like a destination wedding as well. And I will obviously limit the amount of people that crash it because you know how Nigerians can be. Like I'm bringing five of my, my aunties, my uncles, everybody. Like no, if your name's not on the list, you're not coming. But obviously, you know how parents are. No. I'm gonna buy no, everyone, buy their one. uncle, sister's friend, and the one that they worked with like five years ago. <laughs> like, you know, they passed them on the street. Like, oh, I remember talking. I remember giving you money. Like, yeah, come to my daughter's wedding. Like, no. What is your cultural background? I am Nigerian. I'm sure that's kind of like public knowledge right now. But um, Nigerian, half Ibo, half Yoruba. I want to learn some Yoruba words. I was gonna now. ask. Can you speak Yoruba? No. Do you understand? Some, some of it. Oh, I'm, I can, you, I'm I always around you. Yoruba people. Really? And all the guys it's are dated. Like the best. All the guys are dated are well in Yoruba, which is why they've all gone downhill. <laughs> shade, no shade. I've never dated an Ibo guy. Would you? Is, why not? Is there any? Is there any ways you you're just like nah? Could do no way. Uh, I don't know. Maybe more for like religion, so like maybe an Asian guy. Not that I have a problem with Asian people. So what if you met an Asian though. Christian? Well, that's fine. What if you met an Indian Christian? That's fine. Then I'm not. I don't know. I've just never been drawn. Yeah, I hear you. To them, yeah. So we can't have different beliefs. Yeah. No. So um. Yeah, I'm pretty. I don't mind whoever at this point. To be honest, anybody. <laughs> Have you gotten yourself a potential husband yet, or are you waiting for nature to take its course? It's not by force, but like, <laughs> if really you find anybody like, oh, you're gonna marry me. Um, although I did have a friend at uni though, we did say to each other, if by 30 we weren't married, we wouldn't get married. Wait, that really we don't even happen? speak to each other anymore. He's a white guy. Not that I have a problem with white guys, but I'm sure he's moved on. He already has a probably has a girlfriend. But no, we actually probably made a pact. It was that deep. <laughs> That's why you guys will reconnect now, yeah? <laughs> No. I did think about him though, I wonder how he is. What did you end up doing with your psychology degree? It's in my drawer somewhere. <laughs> just in the cupboard. <laughs> what did you do with the degree? It's still, no, I just, it's one of those like backup fallback plans, but I, I, I hope I don't have to fall back on it because I don't see myself going down that road. So it's just there, just sitting there in an envelope. If you could go back and change the degree that you studied, what would you study? That's an interesting one. But then looking back, I can't think of anything else I can see myself doing because all I was all I've always done is like science, like topic in science um, courses. So I was really big on science back then. You wouldn't even believe that. Like, I actually loved like science, um, chemistry, um, biology. But now I don't know. Do you know? Oh, I know what I'll do. It's something to do with like um, media, like editing. I'd love to do that. Yeah, I could see stuff doing like that. that. I, I really enjoy that now, and it actually excites me. So. That'd be cool. What would you call that? TV, yeah, production. Yeah, TV and producing. That's true. That's true. Yeah. So I really, really want to do all these movies and 
You have my name in the credits. Yeah, I could see you doing that. When are you getting married? I don't know. When the Lord brings me a husband. <laughs> if you were stuck on an island for six months and you return home after being saved, what will be the first major meal you would eat? Nando's, I guess. <laughs> There's Nando's in Lagos. I heard! I was I like, heard. yo, Can we go? what makes you cry? Oh, what makes you cry? Like sad movies, love movies. Um, boys are just giving me a headache. Do you cry for boys even at this age? Um, the last one, no. I said, I said to myself, I'll never cry for a guy again. <laughs> There's chicken, she's just running across. The chicken? chicken. <laughs> How does it feel to be back in Nigeria after so long? It feels fine. Like I don't, I don't have any like, I don't feel nostalgic. I don't feel anything. I don't know what it is. Maybe because I haven't been to this part of Lagos when I was living here, so it all just seems really new to me. Like I don't know. Like I don't. The things I experienced now, I didn't experience back then. I think I was kind of sheltered when I was, you know, a lot younger. And I didn't get to travel around, like drive around like this on my own. I didn't have a driver, but like it wasn't the way it is now. So it feels cool. It feels good to see like how some things have developed and some things have evolved. But there's still a lot of things I feel like I wish I could help. Like there's a lot of. I feel like if you don't have money, you don't have the means to move ahead. Like you'd really still be like suffering. And it's kind of sad to see because I see like people selling stuff on the roads, and it's just like. I want to do something. I wish I can like give back in some way and you know help. When did you have your first boyfriend? I think I was like 14 or something. We literally were like together for like a month. It was like in in high school, and it was a white guy called Richard. I remember that name. He was a bit of a geek. So I was like, oh my god, my first boyfriend, and he's white. Yeah. But, um. No. That was, yeah. It was. Like, he was friend of one of my best friends at high school. And I don't know how we even was like going out, but then we did, and then we hung out after school in this park. And I think he wanted to kiss me, and I got scared. I don't remember what happened, if it actually happened or not. But we were together, like going out, and then after a month, we just disappeared. So, if you had to move away from England, where would you go and why? America, LA, because. Like it seems like the place to be right now. Everyone just seems to love it, and every time I watch Snapchat, I'm just like. I want this life, you know, so probably LA. I noticed from one of your recent snaps you like older guys. Who's your older guy celebrity crush? Mine is Jason Statham. You can't steal him though. Um, well, I was going to say him. Um, the guy that played Ocean's Eleven. I never remember names. Ocean's Eleven, the main guy. Have you ever kissed a girl? No. I actually haven't. Did you all put that in? <laughs> Jesus is loved. <coughs> yeah, I, that's what I was. What is this? How old was that? I was quite old. Yo. <laughs> Nando's or Wagamama? Nando's. Ooh, though. But they're both good. You would say Nando's. Let's be But real. sometimes you just want that Ebikatsu, though. Oh, that Ebikatsu. Oh. oh. That's mean. Why would you tell me to, to decide? I can't even choose. I can't choose. Because there are moments where you want the half chicken and the moments where you want the Ebikatsu with firecracker, extra prawns. So I don't know. I can't. I can't. It's like if I've been back from a long trip, I probably would go to Nando's first. What are your ultimate goals in life? Just to know that I've ticked off a lot, ticked off a lot of things on my list of things to do and to achieve. So my goal. But whenever I go to funerals, I always think to myself, what will people have to say about me? Will they be as in detail like I hear other people? Like it's like, what have I done in people's lives? Have I impacted someone else's life? the world how to do eyebrows. I mean <laughs> eyebrows. <laughs> to some people that's like a big deal and I mean because I'm used to all these kind of things I don't I don't see it as like anything like amazing. Like I haven't who have I who have I helped? Who have I ministered to? Who have I impacted like on a proper like personal deep level besides just makeup and the outwards beauty, you know? I want to be able to have that like under my belt that I know that I've done something like that and people can have something to say about me that they've helped them you know in more than just you know the physical beauty and stuff something more like substantial than just but yeah not that I don't I obviously I appreciate everybody who would say like I get emails and messages about people saying that I do inspire them in different ways so 
that's also a big achievement itself. But for me, I feel like I want to do something more than, I mean, just than that. Okay, so I think that's it. Um, no more questions. I did lose a lot of your questions. I'm really sorry. I, it took me so long to to refilm this the third time. So I'm sorry if I didn't get your questions answered. It's so dark now, so I have to like go and we have to go get some food. So dice. And I have planted. Oh, where's it? <laughs> plantain. No, look at my plantain. So yeah, I'm just gonna eat that now because I'm hungry. So thank you so much for the video. Thank you so much. Thanks so much for the video. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one, probably when I'm back in London. Yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, bye guys. guys. She says bye too. <laughs> bye guys. <laughs>